Hello everybody, this is Emma! Welcome to Back to the Future, the game. This is the second episode, and we're gonna start it right away. Telltale Games. Presents in association with Universal Partnership and Licensing. Back to the future. The game. I don't know, unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten, left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're going to kill my grandpa? Tan's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we going to do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's a time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born. And neither will you. Unless... When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Huh. Step out of the car with your hands up. Hmm, so what should we do? What do we have? What do we have in our inventory? We have... Doc's notebook and a picture of George McFly. Um, yeah, we can't do much right now. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend. He hasn't speakeasy spotted arsonist, me yet. If you don't mind. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Hmm. What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back! It's a prototype, still untested, liable to blow up at any moment. I wonder... Or suddenly take off without warning! Is that so? We need a key, I think. What is it, some kind of foreign job? The German or something? I can't let him know I'm here. Not at all. This is solid American workman's... <clears throat> Do we have any hints? Marty can't make the jump until he's picked up the keys. We need the keys, but where is there the keys? again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. I'm wondering. We need to go around, I think. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. We need to get the keys. Get the keys. Get the keys, man! Get the keys! I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. All right. You're getting to be a valuable huh. commodity in Hill Valley. Well, that's very gratifying to hear. I hope you don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get Let's here. Let's go to the door. I don't mind. Why not? The car may have other ideas. Now I'm sure something's back there. I'd like to get a closer... Okay, 
So let's do this. Stop! That no! Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get that! You got it, Dad. Alright, let's go! 88 miles per hour! Go! Wow. What was that? Hmm. Okay, so... Hold on a little second here. Um... I need to check something. Okay, so everything seems to be fine still. We'll just go on. 455. Hardy's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is. There he is! All I gotta do is get to him before... To Callahan! Her again, I guess. Ugh. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really gotta get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Hmm. My grandpa needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh. Oh. Well then, carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. <laughs> Einstein? Yeah, Einstein. Einstein. What is it, boy? Go away, boy. Crap. He wants to play. Einstein. The dog wants to play. You wanna play? Okay, let's play. Let's throw it. Why do you want the stick, boy? Wanna chase it? Yeah. What should I do? This? I am not bonking myself on the head with a stick. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can throw the stick that far. Door then. Want the stick, boy? Wanna chase it? What the hell? Come on. Sh sh throw it somewhere. Where can I throw this thing? We need to create a situation that will keep the other body quite long. Can you blah 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 blah? Let's see. Edna. Where's Edna? Is it a squirrel lining? Want the stick boy? Wanna chase it? Oh! Hold on. I can move! Awesome. There we go. Go get her, Ainy! Get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Yeah. Uh, uh. Hmm. Who's that? Probably a goon. We'll see. Hey. God. Um, hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? I have to brief him on what to say to the DA. Are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure. But Arthur's on an even deader deadline. <laughs> Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? Oh my god, what the hell is that? What's what? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No, I, I knew before while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. 
No, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. You yep. follow me. I thought I'd never leave. <laughs> At least Why now I have a clear shot this? for the courthouse. Okay, so what would you now? I've got a bad feeling about this. Insane. Bill is sane? Artist still in the courthouse. I need to get him before tens minions do. Okay. Awesome. Um. What should I do? Okay. That works, I guess. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Grand. Already. Just promise me you'll stay at the police station until Marty McFly. Just the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Uh-oh. Get him! Uh-oh. That's gotta hurt. Seem seems to be fine, huh? Artie? Uh -huh. We need to find Artie. Uh, I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. That fell over there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Actual gameplay here. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. We need, need to get into the soup kitchen. No soup for you. I know. Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Okay, you know what? I think... Yeah. I'm Arthur McFly. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. Hey, yo. You boys feeling nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram! Happy as clams. <laughs> hmm. Well. Uh oh. That ain't you good. You guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep? We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? Nah. <laughs> uh, don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. Uh -oh. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? Arsonist. They're running, kid. Well. So far, so good. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This ain't good. This ain't good. Better get in there quick. Yeah. Well, I'll just end the episode right here, and I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Back to the Future, the game, part two. Get Tannen. Bye for now.